Hey, what's good, everybody? It's me, your hero, Benjamin Banks. And joining me as always from the Leveling Up with Benjamin Banks podcast is my co-host, Trav the Trash Man Martin. What are you doing today, Trav? How you feeling? Hey, rocking that Mandalorian, baby. Hey, I see it. I see it. And that is because today we are doing a review on Star Wars. Well, sorry, not just Star Wars, but Lego Star Wars. Lego Star Wars. Holiday special, The Terrifying Tales, which is uh, pretty much a Halloween special for the Lego Star Wars series. Um, last year. Yeah, it was last year they came out with the Christmas holiday special. and The Life year, Day. Uh, yeah, the Life Day. And this year they did uh, Terrifying Tales Halloween special. So before we get into today's review, make sure that you like this video, you subscribe to the channel, you hit that bell button so that way you're always notified when we have new content here on Leveling Up with Benjamin Banks. And Trav, as D always says. Man, you know podcasts in the description. Make sure you like, you follow, and you subscribe, baby. That's right. So let's go ahead and get into it. So this episode, it takes place after episode nine. And that's something that I do like about these Lego specials that they do is that they all take place after episode nine. So it kind of continues the story. Now, when right. I was watch when I was watching it at first, um, Trav, I was sitting here thinking about, well, not even thinking about asking myself, like, is this stuff really canon? Because uh, the hotel that they end up going to, um, they're trying to build a hotel that is catered to Sith Lords. And the person that's right. building it is uh, Rebella the Hutt, who is Jabba the Hutt's, uh, a, a, what, cousin, I believe? I can't remember. They're related. I, yeah, right. <laughs> they Hutt related somehow. I don't, know, I don't know how it works for the Hutts. And I'll say that uh, the person who voices Grabella the Hutt is Dana Snyder. And Dana mm -hmm. Snyder, he voices Master Shake Damn on right. Apple and and he's on this new Disney show called The Ghost and Millie McGee. Mm. He voices well, I mean, the ghost. Bro, his voice is very recognizable. It's like it's a, iconic. I, yeah. It's like when I was it's watching Master it, Shade. I was just like, oh, snap, that's Master Shake. It's just Master Shake. As soon as I heard his voice, I was just like, yo, if the voice actors of Frylock and Meatwad don't show up, I'm going to be pissed. And they didn't show up, so I was pissed. But it wasn't a bad piss. It was a good piss. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but uh, pretty much... Like I said, um, Gabrella, Grabella, he's creating a hotel. It's a luxury hotel at uh, Darth Vader's old hideout. And okay. it caters to Sith Lords. And while they're there, they end up meeting uh, Darth Vader's old assistant, um, Van Vanny. And I like how they showed a flashback of you know, when Palpatine and Darth Vader are at the location. Yeah, yeah. And then when Vanny shows up and Palpatine's just like, who is this? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, I thought that that was cool. I, I love the comedy that we get in these things. Uh, Trav, what was your take on, you know, they are building this hotel, Poe, he ends up landing on the planet and right. he needs to get his X-Wing repaired. Like, what was your take on all of that before we get into the terrifying tales that Vanny ends up telling the characters? Bro, I love I love Lego anything. I'm, mm -hmm. you know, so I know if it's Lego, it's gonna be a good time. You know, whether mm -hmm. it's superhero Legos or Star Wars Legos, um, it's always gonna be a good time. It's gonna be funny, and man, they always just do a really good job at this stuff, dude. Mm -hmm. So I I I knew the stories were gonna be some good stories mm -hmm. with you know a good blend of comedy. Yeah, yeah, and. I just love that uh, each story, they told something different. And like, this is the reason why I was saying, like, I was questioning if some of this stuff is canon because we've seen the movies and we know that uh, when they did, when Vanny started telling the story of uh, Kylo Ren and how he became Kylo Ren, uh -huh. it's just like, we know in The Last Jedi, this is how he became it. But then I was thinking to myself, I was just like, well, are they trying to retcon some of this stuff? And you know, make it their own. But we find out that Vanny, he's lying in these stories that he's telling. But I love that with the Kylo Ren story, like they showed how he became Kylo Ren. And it, and it was uh, an Easter egg to the Lost Boys movie. Right. And like, as soon as I saw him starting to do like all of the stuff that they were doing in the Lost Boys, I was just like, yo, like, this is awesome. Uh, the story where Luke, he had the Wookiees Paul mm -hmm. and it granted him whatever he wished for. And then Luke ended up going down the path of the dark side. And I'm just like, well, we know that this stuff didn't happen. But yeah. it's just funny that they took these takes on, uh, you know, Luke and Kylo Ren. And then even we see Darth Maul and General Grievous. 
and they come back and it was just interesting seeing them as well now trav for me out of the three stories that they told my favorite one will probably have to be the one where luke ended up going down the path of the dark side which one was yeah. your favorite it's definitely between that one and the lost boys one mm -hmm. um there was something else oh i coincidentally happened to watch this the same day as i watched the new netflix movie night books uh -huh. and um the song for that was church's rendition of cry little sister mm. and they had some lost boy stuff in the movie so it nice. was a lost boys day nice. for your boy watching stuff but i did really like the lost boys one but i really think the wookie thing because um not only was it a tale uh, every every um like are you afraid of the dark goosebumps they all got that tale where they get like the, the magical something, something and it grants yeah. some wishes yeah but i'm drawing a blank on the name of the movie but it's like a spoof horror movie with seth green and jessica alba idle hands idle hands yeah like you know it, it was like a kid version of idle hands a little bit type of uh, deal. I, I wasn't getting that i get where you're coming from the, the only reason why i say i ate that I wouldn't say that is because in idle hands like that hand like it was it was pretty much like a thing <laughs> from the adam family you know what i'm you saying that hand uh right, right. I, but uh, the piggyback off of what you were saying i know like are you afraid of the dark goosebumps they've done those stories where it's like you know the monkey's paw or the bear claw or something like that right it was it was a it was a cursed artifact that pretty there much it, it either it either brought you good luck but brought everybody around you bad luck or you know you could make a wish but it's like every time you made a wish like something bad happened to somebody else so i yeah, could definitely yeah, yeah. see where you're coming from with that um but i also like how you know we get back to the main story after vanny has manipulated dean who is the mechanic on the planet who is a little yeah, kid yeah. and uh -huh. uh, he he has the force inside of him and Vanny is manipulating him and Dean ends up doing what Vanny needs so that way that he can be like the ultimate Sith Lord. But of course, in Star Wars fashion and in Lego fashion, the good guys, they win. And uh, that's pretty much it. You know, everybody, uh, you know, they tell uh, Dean, hey, the Force is strong and you just like uh, at the end of Rise of the Skywalker where you had the other um star troopers who had the who were force sensitive so mm -hmm. i thought that that was cool uh no poe told dean that um he needs to end up meeting uh, ray because ray could train him and all that mm -hmm. stuff so maybe when they do the next special that's probably what we're going to see now trav i know that we've had the holiday special and then we've had the the, the crit not the christmas but uh the halloween special so what do you think the next special is going to be that they do Damn. <laughs> I'm thinking, okay, so look, we got Easter. <sighs> we have, uh, I don't know if any, I, I mean, I, I would assume that they have like a 4th of July type holiday in uh, their galaxy. I would assume I mean, so. Yeah, because I mean, they've won multiple times, right? Yeah. Like they won, they won at the end of episode six. Yeah. You know so, what I mean? And so I'm sure there's some sort of Independence Day where the rebels. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That would be funny though, the Fourth of July. I'm going. With, yeah, I like that Fourth yeah, of July. Yeah, I, I can I like see them that. having fireworks and that stuff. That would be funny. And, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah. So so we're both settling on that. Let us know in the comments what you think that they might do because somebody in the comment section might say that I would like to see a Easter special. You never know. You know, it's like everybody has their favorite holiday. And uh, with that being said, I don't have anything else to say. My final rating for this, I give it an eight out of 10. Trav, do you have any final thoughts that you want to say? And what's your rating on the episode or the special? I'm sorry. Yeah, it was fun. I mean, it's it's definitely something I want to watch over and over again, probably once a year when the holidays came around to throw it on. But um, yeah, eight out of 10. I mean, it's a good little holiday special, man. Usually Disney Plus and Star Wars has been right on the money. So, mm -hmm. okay. All right. And with that being said, thank you again for watching our review. Let us know in the comments what you thought about the Halloween special. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Let us know what your rating is. Trav, let them know where they can find you at in social media land. Hey, that's right. You can find me on the Instagram at ZK Audio. Then you can find me on the Twitter at T-R-A-V-I-O-S-Z-K. And I'm also on Letterboxd. 
And where are they going to find podcast number one hero at? You can find me your hero, Benjamin Banks, at King Benji underscore Banks on Twitter and Instagram. And you can find me on Facebook at Benjamin Banks. I should be the first person to pop up. If not, then I need to contact Mr. Zuckerberg. Thank you again for watching this video review. Make sure that you check out some more reviews that we have here on the channel, along with interviews, reaction videos. We have our podcast where we drop brand new episodes every Tuesday. And then that episode is in video form on YouTube that Friday. Like I always say, keep that pinky up, stay positive. Make sure you stay safe this Halloween holiday and uh, make sure you watch some horror specials and movies and stuff for the spooky season. Mm -hmm. Keep that pinky up. Peace. Thanks again, everybody, for watching another episode of Leveling Up with Benjamin Banks. Make sure you like, follow, subscribe to the channel. Podcast, we got that too. Make sure you give us a thumbs up and hit that bell for further episodes and notifications. Thanks a lot to our patrons. And if you don't mind, join the Patreon. We'll be having new specials coming up soon.